What's going on guys? Welcome to another video doing a Stadia stream and gameplay test. Here we are on the main uh, intro menu. This is where you have your characters, your settings, very standard video, just basically brightness and, and whatnot, and size, your audio, where you can go into your account, play the cinematic, that kind of stuff. You can join the SO+, Plus. you can upgrade to uh, the expansion Graymore, and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and click play and we'll get into the 1080p first. So this game unfortunately does follow suit with the consoles and runs at 30 FPS. So even though you're streaming 1080p or 1440p or 4K or whatever, so far for me, all of the gameplay itself has been at 30 FPS, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I didn't really enjoy that on Xbox uh, either. And on PC, it's just a much smoother experience for me on my RTX 2060. I was hoping Stadia would have found a way to get to a 60 FPS gameplay. But uh, as far as I can tell, just everything about this was a 30 the FPS experience even though the stream uh, luckily held a decent 60. So let's go ahead and get into some more of the gameplay. We'll do some 1080p as we continue here and then we're going to jump over and we're going to do a 1440p uh, stream uh, of the of the game and see how that does with that. Now I forgot to have my other latency and monitor up for whatever reason doing the 1080p but all good this still shows us our resolution our frames and our frame drops per second. When we get into 1440p my other monitor will be up as well. So go ahead and check out the rest of this 1080p gameplay and I'll catch up with you when we get over to the 1440p. Over here! Get on board and let's go!
this flea. Alright, so that's going to wrap up our 1080p, so picking up right where we leave off from jumping off of the ship, I've switched this over to a 1440p stream, and I do remember to have both of my stream monitors up here so we can see all the possible information. This will give us our latency, our codec, your traffic, so you, you'll see what, uh, what kind of uh, data usage you've got going on running this at 1440p. Uh, and that type of thing. So this will give you a nice idea of how the game is running. And this is how I'll try to test all of my Stadia games going forward. The only time I really do Stadia in 4K is on my TV when I do 4K HDR through the Chromecast Ultra. And I don't do a lot of game capturing from that. I mostly do how it runs on the PC at either 1080p or 1440p. Uh, if I grab up a 4K monitor for my PC, I might start extending that to the 4K, but for now, uh, we'll stick with 1080p and 1440p for these type of gameplay tests. So go ahead and watch the rest of the 1440p gameplay here. I'll catch up with you at the end. As I said, as far as I can tell, this game is uh, streaming at 60 FPS, but the gameplay itself is running at 30. Uh, it was pretty apparent running around when you when when you when you move the camera and whatnot and scan around that it was uh, at 30 FPS uh, for me there. Also, some of the textures and different uh, items like some of the rocks and different things in the world tend to seem a little bit muddy as far as the textures are concerned to me. Um, so I'm not sure what somebody let me know in the comments what are the settings in comparison to like a pc or whatever what are we uh what we're playing at here because that's something i haven't looked up to see but it definitely seems like some of the textures and stuff just are a little muddy and not as high resolution as they would be or not as detailed and the game running at 30 but let me know uh what you guys know about this game running on stadia uh in the comments below so all right thanks a lot check out the rest of this 1440p and i'll catch up with you towards the end walker a brave and noble warrior Falora and I are forever in your debt.
Sarah, a moment, please. You made it. Good. We have a great deal to talk about in a short period of time. In a clearing to the southeast, but that can wait. I trust you've seen what Hallinger and I were growing in there. Moon sugar, in its raw form. It's a crude narcotic, but if you refine it, it becomes something truly odious. Skuma. I had to be sure he could do it. Moon sugar. It's complicated. I was a member of House Redwin's Narcotics Oath Bureau. I... I made some very serious mistakes. If I brought this tip to Captain Bethis, he would ignore me. But he has no reason to distrust you. Please, do this for me, Sarah. Alright guys, not overly exciting gameplay here, but this gave you a good idea of running ESO on Stadia at 1080p and 1440p, what kind of data, what kind of uh, latency and all that kind of stuff. So thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and leave me your comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.